Um, thank you all for uh, coming today uh, in uh, such great numbers uh, to attend this masterclass on uh, simplifying the role team management process. We are over uh, 100 today, um, uh, so welcome uh, everyone. And uh, thanks also to the Frankfurt uh, Book Fair team for your help. Uh, we have a diverse uh, group of our participants. We have book publishers from uh, various segments, uh, press groups, media groups, agents. Uh, we are very excited to be here and to share this moment with you. So welcome everyone. Uh, before diving into the details of uh, this session, I'd like to quickly introduce the speakers for today. Uh, we are with uh, Denise, uh, Head of Publisher Relations at Crealo, and uh, Mohamed, uh, Co-Founder and uh, Head of Product at Crealo, and uh, myself, uh, uh, Co-Founder and CEO of Crealo. A few words about uh, Crealo. Um, it's an Europe a European company based in Paris, providing a software suit uh, for royalty management across several verticals in the creative and cultural industries. Uh, we operate in three countries, France, Belgium, and Switzerland, and uh, we help over 150 publishers and about 30,000 um, uh, end users uh, manage their royalties. We are a team of 11 people, and uh, Crealo is certified with the, the highest international uh, standard for process and data security. Um, we work with uh, both uh, public and private entities uh, ranging from small businesses to large corporations. We um, are present in Europe and we look forward to uh, work with more partners in other regions. Uh, and this masterclass is a great opportunity for us to start discussions. Uh, regarding the agenda, uh, here is the agenda for this masterclass. Um, uh, there are three parts. We will start by defining uh, what an optimal uh, royalty management system looks like, considering the challenges that publishers are facing today. Then we will share with you some insights and use cases uh, from uh, customers uh, who are moving into the direction of this optimal system by leveraging automation and new technologies like uh, intelligent data capture. And finally, we will wrap up with a quick presentation of uh, uh, Realo's current and uh, future solutions. And we'll end with a Q&A session uh, where we would uh, be very happy to answer any question you may have. So um, here are some uh, contextual elements that uh, are driving us to rethink the actual uh, royalty management systems. Uh, so one thing that um, we have heard from our customers is uh, that as soon as the number of the authors and partners they work with exceeds a certain uh, level. Uh, the complexity of managing royalties um, increases uh, exponentially. What uh, works for managing royalty for 50 authors or partners tends to uh, break down at 200 authors and uh, 100,000 um, authors as well. And moreover, um, the risk uh, of uh, errors increases even faster with this growing uh, complexity. And um, the more there are uh, errors, the greater the need for control, which further increases uh, the complexity, creating a self-perpetuating loop. So uh, to cope with this increasing complexity, some publishers are taking initiatives to automate uh, parts of the processes using a spreadsheet with macros or um, uh, developing internal tools. But what we have noticed is that several challenges persist and continue to drive this growing uh, complexity. So uh, why does managing royalties uh, feel so tough at times? That's exactly what we'll be seeing next. Um, publishers are held back by outdated technology in a rapidly changing landscape. And they are facing uh, challenges that we uh, can regroup in four main categories. The first one, uh, is related to uh, data and existing systems. Uh, publishers often deal with uh, um, uh, fragmented data from multiple sources, distributed data, direct sales from uh, websites or book fairs, and the data from uh, digital platform, for example. And these data sets come in different formats, which uh, make data, cons data consolidation very difficult. 
and uh, this is compounded by the use of systems that aren't interconnected. For example, sales tools, accounting tools, invoicing tools may not be integrated with the royalty uh, management and calculation systems, uh, which lead to fragmented uh, processes. The second category is the challenge of providing uh, accurate uh, calculation and timely payment to uh, stakeholders. Um, but royalty structures can be very complex with tiers percentages uh, based on sales volumes, a royalty advances and complex rules uh, for advance recoupment. On top of that, international sales and uh, working with foreign authors and uh, um, partners add uh, another layer of complexity, uh, especially um, uh, with varying sales prices and different currencies. And when this complex calculation uh, are handled uh, manually or require a lot of human intervention, it becomes very time consuming and increases the risk of errors. Uh, the third cat category includes, includes ch challenges brought on by evolving business models with the rise of new formats such as audiobooks uh, or digital formats. Publishers must adapt quickly their contracts, their royalty structures and calculations. And the final category involves compliance uh, challenges, which can be very, very demanding, depending on the country. Uh, publishers must comply with tax and social regulations, as well as royalty management laws, including obligations around transparency and reporting to rights holders. For example, in France, uh, the current mandatory uh, reporting frequency is uh, once um, a year, but starting in 2027, it will be reduced uh, to uh, every six months, doubling the time publishers uh, will need to dedicate to reporting. So when these challenges aren't uh, managed, they uh, may uh, um, affect the operational efficiency. Um, when the process of calculating and reporting royalties takes weeks, that's time the publisher could have spent on more high value tasks. Uh, it may affect um, also relationship with the stakeholders because delays and sometimes payment errors uh, strain relationships with authors and other partners. And lastly, these challenges can impact the company's reputation as well and is, uh, its ability to attract new authors and top talents. So the, the royalty management process uh, involves a lot of human intervention. It is the perfect candidate uh, to benefit from technological advances in areas such as automation and system integration. Today, it is possible to put the entire process on autopilot so you can focus on growing your business and improving what is already working. Here we will explore in the next slide the key aspect of an optimal royalty management system. system. Um, here are the main aspects of this optimal model that are now possible and accessible to publishers. The first and the, the most obvious is automation. But a common concern among publishers is that they have too many specific rules for calculating royalties and they see it as an obstacle to automation. It is now possible to automate almost any complex royalty calculation by transforming all contracts into simple and standard business rules. At Halo, I haven't not yet um, uh, met uh, any calculation rule that uh, we haven't been able to turn into business rule and automate. We can uh, also easily automate data extraction. Smart image capture technology like OCR uh, allow for automatic data extraction from invoices and statements uh, that you receive. This is useful, for instance, for uh, managing um, foreign rights where it can automatically uh, convert statements uh, from your partner publisher into invoices. We will look at an example in the use uh, case uh, section. And overall, you can easily automate all the recurring tasks in the royalty management process, extracting, integrating, and consolidating sales data, as well as reporting and payments. The second category, a category um, aspect is the, is the scalability and flexibility, which is essential for quick adaptation for example, you can now easily model a new distribution channel that you've just launched and calculate the royalties. 
And thanks to advances in database technology, you can also have customizable and scalable title metadata records regardless of the size of your uh, catalog. Um, the third key aspect um, is analytics. An optimal model is one uh, that includes an analytics component. Today, you can have integrated and powerful analytics and visualization tools to help you, for example, analyze the performance of new releases and make projections and forecasting and make data-driven decisions and easily monitor your calculations while significantly reducing the risk of errors. And finally, when it comes to compliance, general purpose tools like URPs don't always take into account uh, your specific needs and, and may require customization. And even if the customization meets your needs, it often requires uh, ongoing maintenance and regular updates to keep up with the changes, which can be very costly. So you can rely on solution tailored to your industry that natively include compliance features addressing your needs right out of the box. Uh, these are the key aspects on which uh, we have uh, built the Corallo solutions and that you can integrate into your current systems. Um, I suggest we uh, dive deeper into uh, the key aspect that can streamline uh, your process is automation through the upcoming use cases. Uh, we will cover general use cases to help as many of uh, you as possible relate to these challenges. Uh, we can extend the discussion during the Q&A session uh, at the end if you'd like. And of course, we'll be very happy uh, to continue the conversation with you um, after this masterclass to dive deeper into specific cases and share additional examples. Um, so, uh, Mohamed, over to you. The floor is yours. Yeah, thank you, Najla. Uh, and uh, hello everyone. So I'm a head of a product at Creelo. I'm happy to share with you today three use cases of uh, some of our customers. Uh, it's uh, real world uh, uh, practical examples on how uh, our customer tackle the challenges to, um, to uh, drive operation efficiency. So uh, we'll go from a simple use case to more complex scenarios. The first one will be about sales data consolidation and the uh, faster royalty uh, statement generation. In the second case study, we will see how a best-selling book publisher in Europe uses OCR technology to manage their foreign rights. And finally, we will see how a leading audio, uh, a leading uh, publisher in audio uh, ch children books uh, manage multiple royalty streams and complex currency schemas. So let's dive directly to the first one. So uh, we will illustrate the children book publisher uh, with over to, uh, 500 titles in catalog and 700 authors. Uh, these publishers have three sales channel, uh, channels via distributor, uh, direct sale on their website and uh, on digital platforms. Uh, before Creolo, they were using Excel sheets to consolidate data, calculate royalties and uh, generate statements. Uh, the main challenge that uh, they had was uh, the process was too time consuming. They spent two days per month to consolidate data and a uh, few weeks per year to calculate royalties and generate statements. And also the process was manual. So the, the, there were pot potentially errors in the calculation. And ab uh, above all, the statements were generated in, in Excel sheets. So after period closing, the author asks, uh, we're asking a lot of questions about details on specific section, for example, physical sales or digital sales, etc. Uh, so the solution was first to uh, uh, auto automatically gather that data from their source. So distribu distributor uh, URP, uh, their website on, sh on Shopify, and uh, instantly calculate royalties and send statements to author. And uh, also, authors have now a uh, 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 specific template with detail, uh, um, detailed view of uh, sales on each specific title. So uh, uh, the results were wonderful. Uh, they, they managed to, to, to divide by 10 the time needed to generate statements. And also, authors uh, now receive their payment three times faster. And, all, and uh, the data on the statements are more reliable since there is minimal uh, manual actions on the process. 
the second uh, case study, uh, in the second case study, we'll see how a, a leading uh, publishing house in Europe uses OCR technology to extract data from uh, from PDF files. So what is uh, specific about this this uh, publishing house is that they, they, they have a lot of foreign rights. They have more than 100 uh, contracts, uh, foreign rights contracts, and uh, they, they distribute several million dollars of royalties each year. Each year. Uh, so uh, the main challenge that they they were facing is how is uh, uh, correctly ma uh, uh, managing a large volume of uh, of uh, these foreign rights, and they also had difficulty to to track sales uh, and uh, royalties at, uh, attached to them. And uh, they also had another issue with payment deadlines and uh, contract expirations. And uh, so the solution was to use OCR technology, which is like a, a, scan, uh, a scan of the PDF document that will extract data and put it on Creelo. So once the data is uh, on the platform, the royalty amounts are calculated uh, automatically uh, and the uh, invoices are generated also and sent to uh, foreign publishers. They also uh, set up a notification system to track anomalies. For example, if the recalculated royalty amount was different from the uh, received invoice, uh, they will have a warning and the issue will be noted to discuss it with the foreign uh, publisher. And finally, they also automated payment follow-ups. Uh, so basically one month before the deadline, uh, several emails were, were sent to uh, foreign publishers. So as a result, they have now a consolidated view uh, of uh, all their foreign activity, but also uh, detailed visibility on specific items. So, if they want to have like what is the uh, what is the the activity or specific title for a specific channel on a specific country, they can see it directly in their anal analytics uh, view. Uh, they also have instant instant processing uh, of royalties and the generating of royalty statement, and they uh, they have optimized their working capital uh, thanks to improved follow up process. And a quick note, quick note here. Uh, before this, they, they actually was taking the PDF files and retrieving data manually one by one uh, on Excel sheet. So it was time consuming and frustrating. And uh, finally, uh, the third case study will be about a European leader uh, uh, in uh, audio books for children. Uh, the what is specific in, for this uh, customer is uh, that they have uh, authors and uh, they work with author, but also with the licensed partner like these partners like Disney, Hasbro, etc. Uh, and uh, they sell the same product in more than 20 countries. Uh, the first challenge they had was personalized statements. Actually, partners will ask for a very detailed Excel sheet for all the sales uh, and the uh, author will ask maybe something more standard, a PDF file uh, with the physical sales, digital, etc. Uh, the second challenge was uh, they were reporting on multiple ranges. For example, partners is with tweets a three month period and for author authors six month period. And finally, they will they were handling uh, different currencies, uh, different currencies. So uh, the solution that we that they uh, set up was uh, assigning to each beneficiary a specific statement, uh, template, uh, and a specific period and a specific currency. And also they managed to automatically, automatically extract exchange rate from a, a database. And once the sales are in Coriello, the calculation is done automatically. Uh, so uh, as a result, today the royalty statement generation takes minutes instead of weeks and uh, with minimal efforts. So that was it for uh, uh, case studies. Uh, I think the, 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 the main takeaway here is, uh, is that automation is the key uh, for uh, streamlining processes. And, um, and we have today the tools and the technology to, 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 to do it. So I will let uh, Denise go over uh, the uh, a demo of Criello and the overview of the product. Uh, thank you, Mohamed. Uh, hello, everyone. Very nice to, to meet you. Uh, so first of all, a few words about uh, Crealo. 
so Crealo uh, streamlines the entire process of managing royalty, uh, optimizing every stage uh, from data collection to uh, performance analysis. First, it automatically gathers and centralizes all your author contracts, beneficiary details, and the editorial catalog, in addition to sales data, physical data, and digital uh, sales, for example. Next, it handles uh, accurate royalty calculations based on your contractual uh, agreements, even when dealing with uh, complex um, structures. Communication is also simplified. Uh, Crealo automates the delivery of royalty statements to your uh, authors, answering timely and reliable payments. And finally, its advanced analytics tools allow you to track sales performance and payments in real time, helping you uh, make uh, informed decisions and maintain strategic oversight. So uh, Crealo is a solution built, uh, built around a central module for calculating and paying royalties. And this module also allows uh, for the generation of associated royalty statements. And from this central module, additional uh, modules can be connected. The first one is the contract management module. Uh, so this one enables you to generate contracts from templates and send them um, for the author's signature. The second one is the uh, foreign rights management module. So this module helps uh, you track your licensing uh, agreements, monitor payments, deadlines, and renegotiate your rights contracts. Uh, we have a beneficiaries portal. So this interface establishes a link with uh, all your partners, um, allowing you to communicate uh, their statements and contracts. It's a secure uh, portal where they can access their documents, interact with you, and update their personal information. And the last one uh, is the analytics module. So this one allows you to analyze uh, the data uh, within uh, Crealo and assess your revenue. So now um, I'm going to, to share uh, my screen um, in a few seconds and you are going to see Crealo. Um, so uh, I hope that you all see uh, my screen. Um, so I'm pleased to um, introduce uh, you to the Crealo solution. So during this presentation, I'm going to show you the user-friendly interface. Uh, we have other uh, interfaces, um, especially for the uh, press uh, industry and for authors, uh, but now we are going to focus on the publishing interface. So here we are on the Crealo interface specif specifically designed for publishers. Um, Crealo uh, is a SaaS software uh, accessible from any computer. It's a collaborative solution that allows multiple users to access the platform and define various roles. For example, for accounting or contract management or department. So I will start by showing you the management section and then we will move on the data uh, section, which includes all aspects related to your titles, beneficiaries, and contracts. So the solution uh, is structured around the main module for royalty reporting, which automatically calculates royalties, generates associated uh, statements, and facilitates payment to your authors. So let's start with the main screen. It's designed to provide an overview of the calculated royalty amounts. Here you have a customizable uh, dashboard. The idea is to integrate your data, so on titles, beneficiaries, and contracts beforehand, and then you can add data uh, sales. So this uh, table can be completed in two ways, either by importing uh, sales data files or connecting directly to your source. For example, your distributor. 
The process is very simple, intuitive, and quick. And of course, uh, the views are all customizable based on what it is most relevant to you. So now the statements. By clicking here, I can access the, the statements automatically generated by Crealo. These statements are fully customizable, allowing you to display, for example, stock movements, detailed calculations, including prices, quantities, and contractual uh, percentage for each sales category. In this example, we have physical sales, digital sales, uh, rights transfers, etc. You can send these statements with one click uh, via email or, uh, or through a dedicated portal known as the author's portal, synchronized with your portal. So your partners, your beneficiaries can instantly check their sales data and subsidiary uh, rights information, download royalty uh, statements contracts, and update their prof profile and much more. Uh, of course, uh, you can uh, here uh, send all your statements in one batch. So now the beneficiary screen. Um, so this screen gives you a consolidated view of the amounts calculated for each of your authors or partners, which is particularly uh, useful when working repeatedly with authors. This um, allows for consolidated statements and monitoring uh, of uh, royalty payments. So you have here a payment status. Uh, is it paid, payable, or unpaid? Here uh, you have the, the, the stock screen. Uh, so this screen ab enables you to track stock movement over time. And, ver and verify the consistency of your inventory. You will be able to share uh, these stock movements with the authors through the statements. So if you manage uh, advance, uh, you have a screen here um, uh, where you can track them, split uh, the uh, amounts uh, with different uh, payment dates, and you can generate the corresponding statements. On Crealo, you can also manage foreign rights. With the foreign rights um, screen, uh, you can track your transfer agreements, uh, payment deadlines, and monitor these payments and set remind reminders based on contract expiration dates. You can also renegotiate contracts here. And then uh, you have here uh, the uh, payment screen. Uh, uh, this screen is very used by publishers on Crealo because you can automatically pay your authors with one click here. You can also download the accounting export to coordinate with your accounting uh, department. And um, one last screen in this management uh, part is the analytics. Um, we were very excited to work on this feature uh, because here you have access to a, uh, to a screen that helps you analyze your data and assess your revenue. For instance, you can analyze top sales by country or by channels manage reviews, you can uh, also compare the performance of new releases, you can determine how a title is performing in the market, so graphs can all be customizable, giving you a tool to leverage your data for better decisions. So now let's move to the data section, which encompasses everything related to your titles, beneficiaries, and contracts. So here um, you will find the, tat the title catalog with a dedicated um, a record for each title, including information uh, such as price, prices by country, code, and uh, associated contracts. Similarly, you, you have the same view for the beneficiaries. So this section contains a list of 
um, all your beneficiaries, complete with their contracts, uh, statements, um, and you can uh, easily add associated um, individuals. Uh, for example, here we have uh, an agent, Peter Brown, linked to Alan Smith, an Australian uh, author. Um, and you can uh, also uh, upload documents uh, related to uh, the uh, author. Uh, authors can also fill out their uh, own contact uh, information to complete uh, their profiles. So now uh, let's talk about the contracts. Uh, so to link a title to an author, we will create a contract Think simply. Before that, uh, I'm going to the settings and speak about the uh, channels. So we will set up the distribution channels for the titles and associate predefined calculation rules. So you can manage royalty rules for tiering per unit, percent, net revenue, per percent based on sales volume, for example, and more. Um, so now let's create a contract, so on Alan Smith, uh, here, uh, so we choose a title, so for example this one, we choose the distribution channel, so physical sales, dig digital sales, and uh, book fair, for example, and uh, let's set up some person, so 10, 11, 12 and 13. So next, um, you can enter here uh, an advance and next, so the, contra the contract uh, is here and you can uh, send it uh, for a signature uh, to your authors. Uh, so uh, here is a default template with uh, variables. So he it's in French, but uh, of course, you can uh, uh, do it in uh, English or uh, every uh, languages. Um, and uh, with these variables, um, the uh, contract will uh, auto file. You can establish a, a validation workflow. So I will uh, sign this contract uh, and to, to, in order to uh, approve the contract internally. And um, after that, you have a contract management uh, screen dedicated, dedicated sorry, to uh, contract tracking and providing a space for the finance, legal, and publishing department to collaborate. Finally, in the settings, you can config, uh, configure uh, many things like uh, access, uh, of course, you can define uh, brands uh, useful for group level management and you, uh, you can uh, also switch uh, between uh, multiple entities, uh, especially in cases of uh, dual activity like uh, publishing or press activities. And you can uh, also access to a um, co consolidated view uh, with uh, the group. Uh, you can uh, also set up uh, exchange uh, rates uh, calculated on the average annual rates for foreign authors, for example. There is also a, no a system for personal personalized notification if needed. So I've completed uh, the overall presentation of Crealo. Uh, of course, we have a dedicated support team to set up the system. And we will be delighted to continue the discussion with you and present Crealo in a personalized uh, manner tailored to your needs. So I will now uh, hand over to Mohamed for the vision and the roadmap part. Thank you, Denise, for the demonstration. Uh, yes, a, a quick word about uh, how we, we see uh, the future of our product. Um, so over the, the, over the last few years, we had the chance to uh, to talk with uh, hundreds and hundreds of publishers and what we heard is the need uh, to take in automation to take automation a step further uh, so they can um, so they can work on tasks that with more value and and we are lucky today we have the perfect tool for this 
and that tool is uh, artificial intelligence that will basically allow us to do two things. The, for, the, fir, the first one is to identify automatically bottlenecks and inefficiencies on complex processes. Uh, for example, uh, we, we, we launched a prototype with one of our customers and uh, we, we, we managed to see that 10% of, uh, uh, of authors come back to, to uh, come back to the publisher asking them to change the royalty statement because their tax or uh, social profile were not good. Uh, and so they need to reopen the period and change the, the statements and that's also impacted accounting. So what we what they did is that uh, two months before the period closing, they sent a, a notification to all authors asking them to upload uh, to update their profile and this uh, this uh, this profile was synchronized with their account with the publisher account uh, and the second thing is a, a new way to navigate your data and navigate also on Creelo. you can think of something like chat gpt but tailored for a publishing industry and on your specific data and the idea behind it was to to discuss with your product we can for example ask uh, for a specific item, if we continue with the current growth, let's say for a, a title named The Patriot, what would our sale look like in 2025? Or for example, what are sales in the US month over month? How are we new releases performing, comparing last year, etc. So the idea is also uh, spending more time on analyzing the data and not just fetching for them. And uh, we are very excited to work on this and we'll be happy also to present this uh, in a few months. So I will, uh, that's it for me. I will uh, uh, maybe let Najla conclude on this pre presentation and I'll be happy to answer your question after. We can't hear you, uh, Najla. Thank you. Thank you all uh, for your attention. Uh, I hope you found this session helpful. We'd be very happy to answer any question you may have. Uh, so you can use the, 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 tool, uh, the toolbar. Uh, we have um, questions uh, for you, Mohamed, uh, about uh, yes. how, how sales figures go, go into uh, the Creator system. Yes, so we have uh, many ways to do it. We can integrate sales via API. So basically it's connecting two systems together and uh, automatically fetching data from one system to another, let's say your accounting system or another system. We can upload the uh, data directly on the platform via CSV file. Uh, so the it's a normal, a normal procedure, I think all uh, tools use this. And we also have webhooks and this is for more complex uh, systems where uh, we, uh, where we, we will ask the one the, the system that that is the that is sending data to connect to this webhook and then send data to Creelo. Um, uh, flexibility mm -hmm. and data storage which this is possible we have another question uh, hey great product thank you uh, I want to ask about the flip flexibility regarding data storage specifically is it possible for us to store or manage our data outside of the platform perhaps on our own server? or third-party solution is still leveraging Creelo services. Uh, uh, yes, to, actually today it's not possible, but uh, of course you can export your, da your data at any time and use it uh, elsewhere, but you cannot uh, have your own server running, uh, your, you cannot have Creelo running on your own server. For, we are cloud-based uh, uh, product. Uh, we have another question about the frequency uh, in which uh, sales figures uh, can go into the query system. Uh, you can set up your own uh, frequency. Uh, it's, uh, uh, you can have monthly, weekly, or daily uh, frequency. Um, you, you can choose the frequency uh, that suits you. Um, Um, we have a, a common uh, question about the, the link between the models uh, that uh, Denise presented. Uh, the models are linked together uh, to provide the platform that streamlines the entire process, but uh, you can also, uh, they can also be set up separately.
and I, I don't I don't see any more questions I think questions Um, huh? Maybe I'll... Okay, so uh, maybe if there is no no more question, we can uh, we can uh, resume the discussion and maybe uh, 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 talk uh, uh, after uh, if uh, you have a specific question on your uh, on your uh, um, specific cases. And um, maybe I have, um, I think, the last question about foreign rights management. Okay. I am um, right that I can upload a uh, royalty statement to a Creado in PDF format, and we have uh, all the sales royalty data encoded automatically. Yes, uh, exactly. Um, describing the formal statement, yes. what I need to put, please, uh, Mohamed. Yes, on this, basically how we work, so uh, Creado train on different royalty temp uh, templates. Uh, so if there is a template that Criello doesn't know, we will train on this template, uh, tell him where, where are the, the sales, where are the royalties, where are the, uh, etc. cetera. And uh, yeah, and uh, after this, you can use it uh, for a couple of periods, but there is like a, tra a training session of uh, like 10 files that is necessary. Uh, have all this area discarding the form, uh, yeah. I think I answered the question. Um, so thank you all. If there isn't no, uh, further questions, um, thank you all for your for your attention and um, enjoy the the book fair if you plan to attend. Uh, we will be there as well. Don't uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, we'd be very very happy to to meet you. Uh, thank you again. Bye bye. Thanks everyone. Bye.